Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. On this channel I am going to be starting a new series in which I'm empowering all you women out there. All you women who need to look good and feel good within themselves. Women are very powerful and we need to recognise that. So today I'm going to be talking about a very important subject with you, and that is self-esteem. What is self-esteem? It's how we feel within us. Whether we feel good about ourselves or bad about ourselves. Self-esteem is a very important subject. A lot of us don't talk about. Have you found yourself trying to please other people, apologising to other people a lot? Have you found yourself lacking in confidence? Have you found yourself focusing on your flaws and weaknesses instead of your strengths? Do you worry? Do you have self-doubt? Do you have to keep turning to other people for reassurance? Are you overcritical of yourself? Do you avoid challenging situations? Certain life events, have they led you to feel that you are not good enough? If any of these factors are a part of your life, it means you have low self-esteem. So before we proceed into the video, can I please request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because I am going to be talking about subjects to help you look and feel good, to empower you. I'm going to start off with a disclaimer. I'm not a psychologist or a counsellor. I'm not acting in a professional capacity in this video. These methods I'm going to share with you might push you in the right direction. I first started off by recognising the factors that expose me to being vulnerable. Now my personal factors, the first one that I'm a female, that pushes me towards becoming vulnerable. You walk out to a bar, a restaurant, even a shopping mall. How many times have we seen people, men, boys, groups of boys, trying to flirt with a female in a way that can often end up making her feel uncomfortable? And the culture and the society make it acceptable and normalise it. I find myself feeling vulnerable because I'm a female. I follow the religion of Islam. I'm a Muslim, moderately practising. Unfortunately, within our society, within the world, Islamophobia is a dangerously growing problem each day. Living in the UK where there is only about 12% of people who are from the ethnic minority, I have found myself being singled out, being discriminated against and having to face racism on a daily basis. I feel vulnerable because of my ethnicity factor. I come from a South Asian culture. Within that culture, females are not appreciated as much as males are. I find myself being exposed because I'm a female in that culture. I ask you to identify the factors that make you feel vulnerable. My self-esteem became low over the years because of the issues that I faced. 
The issues were linked to everything around me. Family, friends, colleagues, school, teachers, environment, media. These things over several years brought my self-esteem down and made me feel very unworthy and low within myself. This is how I dealt with my self-esteem issues. I sat down one day and thought, life can't go on like this. It's either that I fight or I give up. And I was reading a few different things online where I came across Kidlin's Law. Do you know what Kidlin's Law is? I'll tell you. Kidlin's Law says, if you write something down clearly on paper, you've solved half the problem. That gave me an idea. And I thought, I'm going to start writing things down. I'm going to write down all the qualities I have within me, everything that I have achieved, all the good things about me. And I made a list, a very long list of all the things I would appreciate about myself. I would take pride in my achievements. And then I made another list of all the problems or the issues, negativity that was making me feel bad. Something that my sixth sense was telling me was not good. Now this made me realize my own self worth when comparing it to other people's behaviors towards me. And I recognized that they are in the wrong. I then began to question myself how I can resolve this. I decided to speak to some of the people who were very close to me and I told them how I felt about their behaviour towards me. I told them how their behaviour and their words made me feel so low within myself not worthy enough. Some didn't understand. Some did and they reflected on their behaviours towards me and they improved and they became very positive in their interactions. But others didn't. They became worse because they found out that I had that vulnerability within me and they had some form of power or control over me. They began to use that even harder than they did before. Now I had to ask myself a question. I've taken the first step to resolve the issue. I do not need people creating environments around me that make me feel low. I had to ask myself a question. If these people are not going to understand me, they are not going to help me or support me or respect me, what do I do? At this point, I had to take a step away. Have you noticed? When somebody tells us something positive, it sticks in our mind, but only for a short period of time. Because that part of our memory is very short term. But when somebody says something negative to us, our mind stores it in long-term memory retention. 
and it sticks in our mind for a prolonged period of time. Notice that. Let it sink in. And when you are surrounded by negative people, they will keep bogging you down. They will keep making you feel unworthy of yourself. They will make you feel you're not good enough. You're not good enough, you're heavily flawed and you are in the wrong. They will make you feel guilty about yourself. You will constantly question your own integrity and existence. You will overthink. You will wake up in the morning feeling low within yourself. You will see yourself as a person who cannot achieve anything. That's what negativity and negative toxic people do to you. Ask yourself honest questions and be honest in your own answers. What you want, now be careful, what you want can be different to what you need. Stop calculating your own mistakes. Surround yourself with positive, healthy environments and positive people. If it means that you need to step away from a toxic person, do it. That might be best for you. If it means that you need to go out there and treat yourself, just going to a spa, going for a nice facial, going for some manicure or pedicure, dressing up to make yourself feel good, or just going for a simple walk by the water, do it. This is your self-esteem journey. You need to realise your self-worth, what you are worthy of. You are worthy and you are unique. My message to all the women out there who are watching this, you need to learn how to say no. You cannot please everybody. You have to defend yourself. You have to stand up for yourself. You have to be selfish sometimes. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope that I have given you some motivation to embark on your journey of self-empowerment. Please do subscribe to my channel as I will be uploading more videos. And I love you all. I will see you in my next video.